Another thing that we got out of this series is what if he cuts us off early? So if I'm here and I float and I'm here and I make the wrong read and I take a dribble and he cuts us off about there, but normally it'd be a little bit more downhill, then what happens, okay? And so we're gonna do a little cross step, okay? Now we had a cross step finish, but this is when I take off, I get to here and he's like, it turned a little bit, he's there. So now I'm kind of in trouble, okay? So some of you guys know that one of the options, and you can just stay right there, okay? One of the options is you go here and almost like a fake step back and change directions here. The other option, which we're going to do today, is a behind the back that you guys are going to think is nasty, where I'm here and I take off and I go like this and then just immediately wrap out of it. Okay? So when I'm here, watch this, he's guarding me there and I'm here, I fake one time, so stay there. The second one, he cuts me off, I go here and I boom. And you notice how I got my hands on his hands, but it's really good because it's so quick. So again, I'm going to go on this first one, I'm here. Bang, he cuts me off, so look at my foot. I'm going to cross that ball and foot hit at the same time. And now instead of having to like go backwards and hesitate, all I do is I literally just get my hand to his top of his elbow so I control him. That way he can't reach, because otherwise if he goes like this, he can get one of those poke steals. I get my hand right here and almost grab him, and then I just wrap out of it and go by him. Okay, so again, walking through, I'm here. He cuts me off, boom, and this is important. This, I take a mini step, so I don't try to do this, which a lot of you guys will do and get off balance. You'll try to go here and wrap, and if he jams you, you're in trouble, right? So it's here, and it's cross step, and then foot down, and then boom, and wrap right by him. Does that make sense? And you guys saw the first time your guys' reaction because it's so quick. When you go here and just go here, boom, bang, you're just right by him. And then a lot of times what happens is you have a dump off. Because you beat this guy right here, right? Bang. And then you act like you're going to shoot and then just drop it off either way. And that guy jumps up and then your teammate's got a dunk or a layup. Okay? We good with that? Full work. Lots of steps. There's three steps. Okay? Step one, cross step. Ball and foot hit. Step two, mini step. It's not a big step. It's not a lean back. It's just get your foot down and plant it on your toe. Step three is grab and wrap. Okay? Do we got that? So cross step, mini step, wrap and grab. We go with that? So now the whole series, which foot have we been going off of? Back foot, back foot right? So we've, he's expect, so now a good defender is gonna start reading the back foot a little bit, right? Now obviously you never wanna read feet because you don't wanna be thrown off, but a good defender sees what your tendencies are and they pick up on them. So now we've been keeping our front foot down the whole time, now we finally throw our front foot. Boom, and then pull back. So you're here and you're floating and now he's looking at our back foot. Stay right here real quick. He's looking at our back foot and then we finally throw and we get him with that pullback crossover. If you guys have watched Steph Curry, he uses this all the time. He does it a lot of times where he starts shuffling and then he stops and then bang, he hits that and goes. Do you guys see how that works as far as being shifty? You're kind of bopping up and down and then you stay low and then bang, the first time you throw it, you yank that pullback and now you create separation for your shot. So what I want you guys to do is, I want you guys to start here, float outside, then go one between the leg where you give them a fake, and then the second one, throw it for the first time, and now we got our pullback for a three. This completes the series, okay? Obviously you would still have pullback and hezzy and go and all that kind of stuff, but these are our go-to things that we can rely on so that when we get in games, no longer do we say, what one-on-one -on -one move am I gonna use? It's, I'm here, and now I make a read. You guys hear all the time when, when announcers say, the game is slowed down for so-and-so, right? What they mean is, they actually have a plan. You know what I mean? Most people go in, and they're thinking, all right, I got 20 one-on-one -on -one moves, which one am I gonna use? Whereas the players that are out there dictating and controlling their defenders are, this is my go-to stuff, good luck stopping it. And that's what I want you guys to think. You guys master something so much that this guy has to, has to guess, and when he guesses, we can make the right read and make the right play, okay? So again, bump outside, give him one fake with the breath, and then the second one, throw it, bang, we pull back, we get separation, knock down the three on balance, all right? Here we go, last move, here we go.